Ooh, welcome back to Paper Mario, everybody. So, to start this uh, episode off, there's a strange leaf in this bush, and believe it or not, it took me quite a while, many playthroughs, before I even realized that. And it's needed for quite a few recipes, so just keep that in mind. What a magnificent mansion! Being haunted must hurt the real estate value, though. I like the old-fashioned yet eerie style. The chandelier and the display case look like they're valuable antiques. Even the sofa in the foyer looks like it's pricey, even if it's a bit worn. I love antiques. I wouldn't mind taking a good look at those things. So we can actually pull the chandelier down to open the door, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, the instant we let go, it closes. And no, you can't get there even with speedy spin. Well, okay then. Also, amusing little thing you can do if you enter here. Every Paper Mario game is one of those, I think. I want to say uh, Sticker Star had them. Can't do anything in that room just yet. Wow, what a gorgeous chandelier! If they actually cleaned it, it would brighten this place up. This is very reminiscent of the Haunted Mansion. I like boos. I think boos are cute. Mario, you have come. If you want this record, you must guess who holds it. The Lady Bow will be very angry if we let him get it too easily, fellow boos. Do your best like we practiced. Alright, so that boo has it. Hey, 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 guess who has it? That's easy, it's this goo doofus. No, boo hoo! You, you guessed right. Go on, take this. Oh, boo, Lady Bo's really going to flip out on us. And we get the record, a record of upbeat music. How can you play this? Seems like an odd thing in a mansion, but... If we go back into this room... I am so bored! Bored! I know that Lady Bo ordered me to stay here, but for how long? This Boo's guarding a treasure chest. Bo told them to, I guess. She must be pretty scary to command such obedience. Say, don't you think the boos have the funniest expressions? I do, they're adorable. I don't know why I think that, but I just think they do. Tap A to play the record. You gotta have rhythm, don't press it too fast or too slow. If you press B while it's playing, the record will stop. So yeah, you can see the OK part. You want it to keep it in that part of it, the meter. And we get the weight, a very heavy weight. How can you use this? Oh no! Lady Bo gave me one job, to guard that treasure chest. She's gonna punish me so bad if she finds out about this. Oh, well, I may still be okay. <laughs> it's not like you can get anywhere without knowing how to use that weight. Blech! Alright, you cute little boos. I'm coming for you. So, remember how we could pull the chandelier down, but we couldn't keep it down? Now we can, with the weight. Mario's like, come on! I want to get up there! Ooh, treasure chest. That doesn't actually damage you, but... <laughs> also, a little sequence break you can do here.
<laughs> yep. You're supposed to bomb this side of the wall, because that's where the crack's actually visible. But, fortunately, the game designers allowed you to bomb it from that side as well, even though it does absolutely nothing. Also, you're noticing a lot of wooden crates here. We cannot destroy those just yet. Also, if we go in here, watch the door. We are stuck in here. Ooh, giant treasure chest. Filled with booze. Mario, welcome. If you want these boots, you must guess who holds them. Those are the super boots. The Lady Bow will be very angry if we let him get them too easily, fellow booze. Do your best like we practiced. Well, I must say, they're much better than they were last time. Hey, hey, booze and booze, guess who's got him? Choose, choose. I believe it's this guy. Yeah! You got the super boots! The attack power of Mario's jump increases, and now you can do the spin jump by pressing A again while in the air. No, boo-hoo! You, you guessed right. Go on, take them. Oh, boo, Lady Bo's really going to flip out on us. Bleh! So now we can do a little fiend. We can do that now, which doesn't look like much, but... Now we get more maple syrup, yay! There's a hidden floor panel very near here. A star piece is underneath the floor panel. Press A while jumping. Boost of luck. Can you find it? I'm loving all of these ghastly puns. Oh, or should I say ghostly puns? Oh, that's not Frankie. Yep, this introduces us to star piece panels. They are everywhere in the game, so... Just be on the lookout for those. Well, that switch is going to be a bit harder to press. And now we can get back up to the main floor. Lady Bo told me not to sell any items to you, Mario. You're him. Oh, I want a life. Oh, he sells snowman dolls. Oh, Dane. We get enough throughout the natural course of the game, though. That's fine. Can't I always check some items to you? And we get a super shroom. All right, we'll throw out, throw out the strange leaf. And if memory serves. Nope, nothing in there. Cool. Oh, there's definitely a floor panel in here. There's a floor panel in just about every room in Boo's Mansion. Yep. That's probably where most of the star pieces are, as well as Chuck Gizmo. So. Also, no more than one floor panel per room, which is nice. Give me that star piece. Yes, I've memorized where a lot of them are. Not all of them, though. Also, in these crates, you can find apples. Sweet, tiny apple. Restores 5 HP. However, at this point in the game... Actually... Since apples are pretty easy to just get by coming here for free, I'll let it go. And we get Boo's portrait, a portrait of an old male Boo. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk to his empty portrait. Whoops. Too used to being good. Okay. You'll see those crates there. We want to fly on top of them. And get the star piece inside. Now I forget, is there a hidden panel in this room as well? I don't think so. Also, how many star pieces do I have? Eighteen! 
Hot dog. I could get just about any badge from Mervo now. First off, we need to go in here. Because... Another star piece. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you open these cabinets, they actually do damage you. But there's a hard block right outside, so that's fine. Yeah. This is his empty portrait. Oh, what, what happens if he tattle on it? If you see a exclamation point over your head, check the object or the area with A. There you go, Mr. Boo. Phew, ah, that feels better. It's nice to be back inside my frame after so long. But I didn't even tell you to go find the drawing. You solved the riddle on your own. Are you just lucky or what? Mehehe, <laughs> maybe it's just a coincidence. Or maybe you've played the game before. In any case, you've managed to stumble on the secret way to the upper floor. Jump towards the drawing and I'll take care of the rest. You've earned your way up to the third floor. Say hello to Bo for me. <laughs> you finally arrived. You took your sweet time, huh? I was testing you to see if you live up to your reputation. How were the tests, tough? Bo is really cute. My name is Bo. I'm glad to finally meet you. I'm Butler, the butler. I'm Lady Bo's humble servant. The reason I ask you here is that I need a favor. Butler, give him the rundown. Of course, my lady. Mario, do you know the area near here called Gusty Gulch? A hill rises at the top of the gulch, and upon it sits the castle of Tubba Blubba. He's a monster, and he eats... Us! Ghosts! Booze are his favorite food. Many friends have been eaten. We've tried attacking the evil fiend to save our friends, but Tubba Blubba is far too strong for us Booze to slow him down even slightly. He seems invincible. That's why he's known as the Invincible Tubba Blubba. There is hope, however. If the rumors are true, then Tubba Blubba has a secret that he closely guards. And that his that secret is probably something that relates to his weak point. So, Mario... I want you to find out his secret and defeat him. You'll do it, won't you? Of course you'll get a reward for doing us this service. If you beat Tubba Blubba up, I'll let you have this. So Boo has the card this time. Hmm, Mario, I'm sorry to meet us in such a dire situation. My name is Skolar. I escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle, but... I was in quite a weakened state when I made it outside. As a result, I couldn't go back to the sky at first. I tried to head for Shooting Star Summit to make the leap to Starhaven, but I became lost in the forest. While hunting for a way out, I was captured by Booze, and here I am now. I don't know what to say. What do you think, Mario? Not such a bad deal, is it? You would have to fight. You would have had had to fight Hubba Bubba to save the Star Spirit anyway, right? This way, you help us, Booze too. Besides, I'm going with you. I'll help you like no one else can. My lady, what did you just say now? You at Tubba Blubba's castle? Quite out of the question. I simply cannot allow you to put yourself in such danger. Still your ton, Bootler. I've seen mu too much suffering caused by Tubba Blubba. I wish to see him punished with my own two eyes. Besides, Mario will need me. There's no way he can reach the castle without my powers. Oh, alas, then Lady B I, Bootler, will accompany you. It is my sworn duty to see that no harm befalls you. The ancestors demand it. I will be at your side always. You stop that nonsense! I am not a child anymore! I'll be fine by myself! You wait here for my return! Man, Bo is adorable and terrifying at the same time. They did a really good job with her. L lady <sighs> Is this alright, Mario? I'll join up with you until we oust Tubba Blubba. Bo joined the party, like it or not. Press down C to have her make you b both become transparent so no one will notice you. While you're transparent, objects go right through you. But if you move or press down C, you won't be transparent anymore. You'll return to normal. While in battle, she can slap enemies silly with her smack attack. 
or use out of sight to make you both become transparent so you can elude enemy attacks. So both a very interesting partner. Okay then, Tubba Blubba's going down. I love that little laugh she has in the fan. <laughs> So Bo's a very uh, interesting partner, especially in battle, because she starts out being able to do as much damage as Goombario can deal now at super rank. However, the catch is, Goombario does like the two jumps that deal two damage apiece. She does four smacks that deal one damage apiece. So against enemies with defense, she's pretty much useless. But against enemies with zero defense, she's actually really good. Also, her out of sight move makes you both invisible. At the cost of her next move, that literally just makes it be like, Alright, attacks don't damage you now, which is really good. And we could go to Gusty Gulch now, but since we've got Super Boots... I'm actually going to go back to Toad Town. We can do quite a few fiends there now. Also, we'll meet up with someone. No! Where? Bugs! Get him off me! I'm lost in a freaky forest! This is so scared. Yeek! Oh, Mario! Oh, thank... I, I mean... Aha! Boy, are you unlucky to run into me again! Why, it's Junior Troopa! Have you been crying? Did you get lost in there? Hey, shut up! Shut up! I'm not a lost child! I'm your worst nightmare! Here comes the pain! I actually think this might be Junior Troopa's hardest battle, believe it or not. Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before. Check this out. More power! Now he's in the air, so you can't use your hammer. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's right. Let's see how you like the new improved Junior Truka Hoopa. Yeah, we can't use our hammer now, so that stinks. Thankfully, with the super boots, we actually can deal damage now, and we have to tattle on him again. It's Junior Troopa! I can't get enough of this guy! <laughs> Did the little guy get lost in the big bad forest? Max HP 40, attack power 5, defense power 1. Yeah. Apparently he's grown wings so he can fly now. You'll have to jump to reach him. He's a bit stronger so it may be worth it to use any items you have to attack him. Yeah, he deals a lot of damage. Well, best thing to do is just have Goombario use his charge attack a lot. And yeah, you can see Junior Troop is going to deal a lot of damage to me. Also, Paracarry Shell Shot is very good against this guy, but Goombario's charge deals more damage in the long run. Ooh, Dane. I should have equipped Power Jump for this fight. Also, I'm debating using my Repel Gel. Ah, I should be fine. I'll do one more charge. Alright. Okay. Finish him up with a power bounce. Goodbye, Junior Troopa. Did not have to use my Repel Gel after all. Oh boy. Well, time to upgrade BP. No! Darn it, darn it, darn it! I do feel a little bad for Junior Troop, but he just keeps losing over and over again. That's no fun. Alright. And... Well, wouldn't you know it, I went down the correct pathway. I will actually want to go down this one. This will take me back to the beginning of the forest. There we go. Oh, I made it out of the forest! I could kiss the ground! Yahoo! Oh, might as well take advantage of my great BP now. Oh, <gasps> Dodge Master! I totally forgot I even had that badge. Makes the action command work more frequently, yes. 
Okay, I was going to equip, uh, oh, and I have pretty lucky as well. Dang, I got so many good badges. Oh, actually, wait, hang on. I'm equipping feeling fine for an upcoming fight. It'll make it a lot easier. Can I please get jump charge now? No, I can't. Well, mum, I can't buy both badges. For war Ugh. Honestly, the odds that I'm going to use Double Dip are pretty low, so I'll go Sleep Stomp. And hey, Merlin's outside of his house. That's a rare occasion. Oh, it's you, Mario. What fortunate timing. I had a dream last night, and another oracle spoke to me. Its voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree in the distant desert town, Dry Dry Outpost, something good will happen. So said the voice in my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense to me at all. In fact, thinking about it makes me so uneasy that I can't sleep at night. If you find out what it means, please tell me. I will. But first off, we were going to our house. Trust me, hilarious Easter egg. If you come back here, before you get the third star spirit, but after you get the super boots. So you can see there's sinning down there. Well, we can go down here. Hey, Luigi. I wonder how old Mario is doing in his quest. M mario Uh-oh, I mean, never mind. How did you find this place? There's nothing on the desk. Yeah, it's like Luigi built a basement to get away from us, I guess. Oh, I can ask for his autograph now. Anything wrong? Nothing suspicious in the basement, was there? What's that, Mario? You need something? He what? Mr. Koopa Koot wants to get my autograph? Me? He wants me to sign something? Whoa, cool! I'm flattered. I guess maybe I'm a little bit of a celebrity, huh? Wait one second. I'll write it right now. Here you are, Mario. My autograph. Give my regards to Mr. Koopa Koot, okay? We get the autograph. Luigi's autograph. Koopa Koot wants this. What doesn't Koopa Koot want? Does he say anything else? No. Okay. So basically, after the third world, he'll Luigi keeps his diary in the basement. And you can go after every world and read his diary. It's pretty funny. Also, I know there's a hidden panel here. Don't remember exactly where, but I know there's a hidden panel. There are a lot of hidden panels. It's kind of obnoxious. There we go! Time for more side quest stuff! Woohoo! Hey, Mentee, I have got a seed for you. You brought me a seed? Thanks, I'm so pleased! So happy. Alright, I... Don't think, yeah, he, okay, he doesn't even sell Jump Charge now? I thought for sure he did. Oh, that's my mistake. Alright. So yeah, there's a panel we can break now there. However... Koopa Koop wants his autograph, don't you know? Hop and Hammer Brothers, you're a wizard, Mario. You're a wizard, Mario. Well, ha ha ha, I have so many unique treasures now. What a lucky Koopa I am. Here, take this and know that I'm very grateful. Oh, you don't have to be so flat, fella. Take it. Oh, what luck! You came at the perfect time! Could you do your another favor? Oh, the guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. The other day, I went shopping at Koopa's shop in the village. But on the way home, I must have dropped my wallet on the road. Look for it, would you? My memory's kind of sketchy, but I think I remember talking to that guy who listens to the radio in front of his house. I'm sure my wallet was with me then, but after I got home, I realized it was gone. 
I'm hyperventilating. I must find that wallet. Promise me you'll help. Yeah, sure. Oh boy, it's time for a car wins! <laughs> Question! What will you receive when you get the right answer in a quiz? <laughs> it's me. This isn't Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Correct! Congratulations, here's your star piece. If you said mushroom, I wonder would he give you a mushroom? That would be pretty funny. <laughs> I should try that some time. And for those for you, of you who are wondering, if you miss an answer on a quiz, no, you do not, like, lose that star piece forever. The next time you talk to him, he'll ask you the same question, give you a second chance. There's Koopa Koot's wallet. There's Koopa Koot's wallet. <laughs> well, thanks, Mario. I was too lazy to go walk two feet and get it myself. Oh, thanks, Starhaven. You've saved me again, Mario. You seem to have a nose for finding fiends. Take this as thanks. Oh, don't be so polite. Take it. Oh, what luck. You gave it the perfect time. I've got another favor I want to ask you. Guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. I really have a craving for a tasty tonic. Most shops sell it. It's my all-time favorite drink. It really clears out the old beak. Yes, indeed. Fetch me a cold one, would ya? I'm parched over here. I'll have your word, young fella. <sighs> Koopa Koot's so demanding. And I've got a feeling this is going to be a long episode because there's so much I want to do. Or should I say there's so much I want to boo? I thought I'd see you over here. Kawiz! <laughs> Question. What is the name of the smart toad living in Toad Town? That is Rusty. I wish it was Smarty, though. Correct! Congratulations, and here's your star piece. You've correctly answered 11 questions! You are the Grand Champion! You've got the uh, ability to enter the doors of knowledge at any time you want. Alright. I need to stop being so weird. Hey, dude. Please check my repel gel for me, for first off. And my snowman doll. One of my mushrooms, that'll be good. And one of my super shrooms. And my maple syrup. We're getting a lot of items in this next upcoming area. Also, I could buy a Tasty Tonic for like two coins, but I'm too cheap for that. I am going instead to just get a lemon from the desert. I think I made a Tasty Tonic with the lemon. I'm almost positive I did, but just in case I didn't. The problem is, it'll show you how many recipes you've gotten, but it won't show you which ones you've gotten. Oh, also, and while I'm here, I might as well get the hidden panel in the next area. There are just hidden panels everywhere. And eventually, actually pretty soon, believe it or not, we're going to get a badge that will, like, let us know when there's a hidden panel in the room. I forgot to run around the red palm tree. Like Merlin wanted. Oh, it's not on this screen. It's on the previous one? Really? Whee! Oh, that's right. Let's run around the red palm tree a lot. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. You were watching me? That's weird. What? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said there's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times inside the house, something good should happen to you. <laughs> a house with a whirling roof? As if that existed. Ha! <laughs> I don't take dreams seriously. Actually, there's a hidden panel or two in Goomba Village. At least the one that comes off my head is right where Mario landed.
How many star pieces do I have now? 24! Okay, yeah, I can get anything. Because there's another hidden panel or two. Okay, well, you weren't here two seconds ago, but I am not complaining. Question! How many buildings are there in Koopa Village? Um, six. I am such a nerd. Correct! Correct, George, it's said, Here's your star piece. Well, you correctly answered 12 questions, and now you don't even need to get the hidden panel on the way to Shooting Star Summit to get any badge you want. Okay. we. Seriously, the hidden panel thing is, like, out of hand in this game. <laughs> Speaking of hidden panels, we. No, I don't want to learn about little links, so don't even ask. There's a hidden panel here somewhere. I know it. Well, speaking of which, I didn't deliver Frankie his letter. Actually, wait, it might be up here. No? I remember this panel's in a pretty good, well-hidden spot. Also, once you get the Ultra Hammer, it's nice because you can just smack the ground with your hammer and unveil the hidden panels. There we go. Yeah, you can see just how many star pieces are in this game now. Like, it used to be like, oh yeah, you'd find the odd star piece in the area, but now that there are hidden panels, it's like, yeah, there are tons. Thank you for that. Alright. Before I forget, let's go to Taste Tea. Give her a lemon. Please cook my lemon. Yeah, I cooked a lemon before, because I got two. One is in storage, because I'm going to use that for a later recipe. Because eventually you'll be able to use two ingredients in recipes, which makes a lot more recipes. Oh. Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change! I had no idea a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you are a very lucky man. You are a very lucky man, yes. You should put that badge on. Well, you get the quick change badge that allows you to change your party member and attack with it on that turn. So no more losing your turn to equip uh, just to change your partner. It's quite nice. Is there a hidden panel here? I want to say there's a hidden panel in this area. Maybe not. We'll find it when we get this certain badge anyways. Also, if your partner's standing on top of the panel, you will not be able to open it up. Look at me, I'm filled with star pieces. I'm so glad I remember where a lot of these are. There are plenty where I don't. Did Marlo know that he had a star piece literally just in his backyard underneath a hidden panel? I, th I, take, I took everything out of there, yeah. I'm the famous Merlo! Oh man, look at all these things I could get. Oh, I am getting money money for starters. Doubles the money you get. You can get one more. Not peekaboo since I'm tattling on enemies anyways. And I get happy heart and happy flower. But then again, zap tap I don't really like. Actually, you know, I'll get zap tap. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Right, man. Two badges for 30 star pieces. Can I equip it? How much does Zap Tap take? Four? That is ridiculous. No way. <laughs> Zap Tap's alright, but it's not that good. Whereas there's a badge like Jump Charge, which only takes one. And it's like the most broken badge in the game. I'm not joking. Like, Jump Charge is probably the most broken badge in the entire game. Because literally just a few turns charging it, and like, you're pretty much invincible. Combine that with Power Bounce and Dodge Master, and you can kill just about anything in like, a few turns. Including bosses. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be a long episode, I admit, but... And also, like, none of this is going to get cut out, I don't think, unless I cut around, just jump, moving through Toad Town. I might do that. Alright, Coot. The old Coot. There you go. Pouring piranhas, you're like a psychic, Mario. Uh, wait, a psychic? Is that what he said? Yeah, he said psychic. This is exactly what I wanted. As a gesture of my gratitude and generosity, take this. Oh, don't be so glad. Take it. Oh, what luck. You came at the perfect time. He's got another favor for me. I guess the younger generation is so bad after all. Don't usually ask for favors, but I heard through the grapevine that there's a beautiful fortune teller on Shooting Star Summit. So, if you would, I want you to hike up there and ask for her autograph. I'm too shy. Run along for me now. I can barely wait. You promise to hurry? <sighs> no. We're not doing that. <laughs> not this episode. We're going through this panel. So, we got water that we can't cross. And if we go through here... We gotta fight laughing purple Koopas. Make sure you've got feeling fine equipped. Otherwise, this will be a nightmare. This is a dark Koopa. Dark Koopas are Koopa Troopas who live in the Toad Town Tunnels. They're known for causing dizziness. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power zero, or 2. Be extra careful when you see them grin, because that means they're getting ready to do their dizzy attack. Their defense power is zero when they're turned over, so you should use jump attacks. So, if they make you dizzy, which is almost impossible to defend against, i found, um, then Mario can't move for several turns. And they love spamming it, so Mario's just out of battle for pretty much the whole vein. And they can attack him, and if you're dizzy, you can't defend against it. But if you got feeling fine equipped, they just can't make you dizzy at all. So, trust me, feeling fine is completely worth equipping for this battle. Take this. <laughs> Ooh, double star points! Yeah! 20 star points for two enemies. <laughs> You're not first striking me. Oh, when will I get Power Quake? I didn't realize that if they're smiling that that means they're going to make you go dizzy. It's good to know. Goodbye, Dark Koopa number two. Also, Cooper can do that uh, when he's at super rank, which is nice. I like how much star, how many star points they give you. It's very nice.
Alright, I think there's one more Dark Koopa fight we have to do. Let's get out, Bombette. Just for kicks. Oh no, they did first strike me. Well, they asked for it. Goodbye. <laughs> Power Bomb is so good! <laughs> wow, that, that was delayed. Oh no! My money! Gives us a warp pipe. Upgrade block, but nothing we can do. Actually, we could get that. But there's an upgrade block in the third dungeon, and I don't really want to have to go back to the third dungeon just because we can't use it. So that's where we're leaving the video off here. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope you enjoyed this episode because this was a blast. Okay, enough of the be enough of the side quest stuff. In the next episode, I can promise you we will go to Gusty Gulch and head to the third dungeon. Have a great day, and God bless.